join me as I take on the challenge of mastering my emotions before they take control of me. Mastering our emotions is a crucial step toward personal growth and mental well-being. When we allow our emotions to control us, we risk falling into a downward spiral of stress, anxiety, and impulsive behavior. But when we take control of our emotions, we empower ourselves to live a happier, healthier, and more fulfilling life. One of the most significant challenges we face with uncontrolled emotions is stress. When we're stressed, our emotions can quickly get the better of us, leading to reckless decisions and a sense of overwhelm. Another common challenge is anxiety, which can manifest as fear, worry, or apprehension about the future. This can lead to a vicious cycle of emotional turmoil, making it difficult to focus on the present moment. Moreover, uncontrolled emotions can lead to impulsive behavior, causing us to react harshly to situations without thinking them through. This can lead to damaged relationships, hurt feelings, and regretful actions. Finally, unmastered emotions can also lead to emotional numbness, where we suppress our feelings to avoid feeling vulnerable or uncomfortable. However, this only temporarily masks the underlying issue, causing it to reappear later on. To overcome these challenges, we need practical strategies for mastering our emotions. One powerful technique is mindfulness, which involves being present in the moment and observing our emotions without judgment. By doing so, we can acknowledge our feelings without being controlled by them. Another strategy is journaling, which allows us to process our emotions on paper and gain insight into our thoughts and feelings. This helps us identify patterns and triggers, enabling us to make positive life changes. Cognitive reframing is another effective strategy, where we challenge negative thoughts and replace them with more balanced and constructive ones. For instance, instead of thinking, I'm a total failure, we could reframe it as I made a mistake, but I can learn from it. Let's dive deeper into these strategies. With mindfulness, we can start by practicing short meditation sessions, focusing on our breath or physical sensations. This helps us to calm our minds and become more aware of our emotions. When journaling, we can start by writing down our thoughts and feelings without editing or censoring ourselves. This allows us to release pent-up emotions and gain clarity on what's bothering us. With cognitive reframing, we can start by identifying negative self-talk and challenging those thoughts with evidence to the contrary. This helps us to develop a more realistic and compassionate perspective on ourselves. The STOP technique for emotional awareness is one powerful insight that can lead to a significant shift in emotional control cautiously. STOP stands for stop, take a breath, observe, and proceed. When we feel overwhelmed by our emotions, we can use this technique to regain control. By stopping what we're doing, taking a deep breath, observing our emotions without judgment, and proceeding with caution, we can break the emotional cycle and respond to situations more thoughtfully. This technique requires practice but can be incredibly effective in helping us manage our emotions. Another key aspect of the STOP technique is self-compassion. When we're kind and understanding towards ourselves, we're more likely to respond to our emotions constructively. This means acknowledging that it's okay to feel overwhelmed or upset and that we're doing the best we can in that moment. By treating ourselves with kindness and understanding, we can build resilience and develop a more positive relationship with our emotions. As we master our emotions, self-compassion becomes an essential tool, making us feel understood and cared for. We can expect to experience a significant shift in our overall well-being. We'll feel more confident, in control, and at peace with ourselves and others. We'll be better equipped to handle life's challenges and live a more authentic, meaningful life. In conclusion, mastering our emotions is a journey worth taking. We can take back control of our lives by acknowledging the importance of emotional control, understanding the common challenges we face, and applying practical strategies like mindfulness, journaling, and cognitive reframing. Remember, it's never too late to start this journey, and I hope you'll join me in taking control of our emotions before they control us. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to share your own experiences with mastering your emotions, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to check out my next video on emotional intelligence, 
where we'll dive deeper into the world of emotions and explore more practical strategies for building emotional awareness.